And in Pennsylvania, election officials have formally announced a recount in the too close to call Republican primary for U.S. Senate. The candidates there, Dr. Mehmet Oz, who was endorsed by former President Trump, and former hedge fund CEO David McCormick, finishing within half a percentage point of one another once all of those votes were counted. The eventual winner will go on to face Democratic Lieutenant Governor John Fetterman in the general election this fall. All right, joining us now, News Nation senior political contributor George Will. George, great to speak with you again. Last night, maybe not so great for the former president. What is the impact of those results on Donald Trump's influence within the Republican Party? There are really two ways to exercise power in politics. One is to have power. That is to have the power that comes with holding office, to be able to vote on legislation or to make appointments and let contracts as governors. The other way to exercise power is to convince people that you have power. And Mr. Trump has been trying to do that. And it's a, it's a tricky business. To persuade people you have power, you have to achieve your intended effects. And he's been trying to do that by saying, I can pick the roster of Republican office holders by intervening in primaries. Now, in Ohio, he did intervene on behalf of J.D. Vance, who did win the nomination for the Senate. But Vance got 32% of the vote, which means that 68% of all the Ohio Republicans who voted in that primary voted for someone other than the person Mr. Trump wanted. And Georgia was the Super Bowl for Mr. Trump because he just loathes Mr. Kemp, who he thinks was not energetic enough in trying to overturn the election in 2020. And he particularly loathes Mr. Raffsenberger, who as Secretary of State was in charge of running the elections. Raffsenberger won comfortably enough that he won't even have a runoff. And Mr. Kemp won by 50 points. That's a repudiation. So it, Mr. Trump can't take many of those and still persuade people that he has the power to influence Republican voters. Well, so George, you say it's all about achieving your intended effects. And, you know, speaking of Kemp there, former Vice President Mike Pence endorsing Governor Kemp. So what impact did Kemp's really apparent runaway victory here do to Pence's standing within the GOP? Well, it's bound to help it. And, and Mr. Pence, with, without saying a word against Mr. Trump, has said by his actions, I'm my own man. I used to be dependent on him. He elevated me to the vice presidency, but I'm not his creature anymore. And that's step one for Mr. Pence, if he intends to, and I think he does, try to make his own name in the 2024 presidential race. All right, we will certainly see what happens there. News Nation's senior political contributor, George Will, as always, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Click the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.